India stands at a crucial juncture, a nation poised for a transformative energy revolution. This year's budget directly fuels the nation's ambitious renewable energy targets, channeling significant funds into the sector. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has raised allocation for new and renewable energy sources by 9,251 crores to 26,549 crores. Friends, the world is going through a crucial transformation. There is a growing realization that climate change is not just a matter of the future. The impact of climate change is being felt here and now. The time for action is also here and now. Energy transition and sustainability have become central to global policy discourse. The past year has been spectacular for renewables, a testament to the government's ambition to become a carbon neutral economy. This progress unfolds against a backdrop of global energy uncertainty exacerbated by the recent resurgence of fossil fuel proponents on the world stage, most notably in the United States under Donald Trump. In 2024, India decisively smashed previous records, reaching 217.62 gigawatts as of January 2025. It added a staggering 24.5 gigawatts of solar power and 3.4 gigawatts of wind capacity. The sheer scale of solar adoption is particularly noteworthy. It has seen a two-fold increase in installations year-on-year. Year. Wind capacity also saw a robust 21% rise. Solar now constitutes 47% of India's total renewables capacity. Utility-scale projects spearheaded by states like Rajasthan, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu contribute a massive 18.5 gigawatts. Even domestic rooftop solar adoption, often a slower segment, has seen 53% growth adding 4.59 gigawatts. This year's budget has now further allocated 242.24 billion rupees for the solar sector. This includes an 80% rise in outlay for the PM Suryaghar rooftop solar scheme, which will now get 20,000 crores for FY26. Green hydrogen has been another major focus area for the Modi government. The budget has doubled funding for the National Green Hydrogen Mission to 6 billion rupees. India's National Electricity Plan, or NEP, targets increasing generation capacity to 900 gigawatts by FY32. Of this, 615 gigawatts will be from non-fossil fuel sources. This ambition dwarfs the current installed capacity of 457 gigawatts as of November 2024. India's commitment is unquestionable, but the goal is not easy to reach. Doubling capacity requires a fundamental reimagining of the energy infrastructure and ecosystem. The scale of investment required would be enormous. Central Electricity Authority, or CEA, says India needs to invest $570 billion in the electricity sector by 2032. A big challenge is that renewable energy generation centres are often located far from consumption centres. So existing transmission infrastructure needs to expand with addition of 1.9 lakh circuit kilometres of transmission lines by 2032. For India, it is a strategic imperative as it seeks energy independence. Adding another layer of complexity is the stark contrast emerging on the other side of the world, particularly in the United States. Donald Trump's return marks a dramatic shift in U.S. energy policy. Trump appears determined to resurrect the fossil fuel era while actively undermining renewable energy. As Europe has demonstrated, renewable energy is becoming increasingly cheaper and more reliable. Renewables generated 70% of EU's power requirements in 2024. India's record-breaking achievements of 2024 show its potential to be a renewable spa house. As global pressures mount, Modi government will have to smartly navigate the challenges.